Hello everybody, Cody Wiesmo here. In today's video, I'm going to show you a couple ways how to adequately depth a tip-up. The first way, and the most common way to depth the tip-up, is just simply dropping a depth finder down the hole and guessing what depth you want the bait to be, and then placing the tip-up down the hole. For this, we're just going to use a simple depth finder. Depth finders can be found at any sporting goods retailer anywhere for less than a dollar. And really the simple way to do this, you got your hook, apply the depth finder to the hook, and just simply drop it down the hole. When the spool stops spinning, you know it hit the bottom. So right there you hit the bottom. Now most of the time you want to wait until your line is tight. Grab the line at the top of the ice. This is where your depth is at. You're going to grab this. And I like to use the tip up as kind of my marker, kind of my ruler. I like to think, you know, stretch the line across the spool once, that's one foot, and then two feet, like that. And then what I would do is I would apply a bobber stop. It's actually not a bobber stop, it's a tip up marker. They look like bobbers, and they just simply go on your line like this. And then you just bring up your depth finder. Apply the middle and then you are ready. Now this next fish. method of how to depth the tip up is using a sonar unit. This sonar unit is a Markham LX6. It's a much more accurate but more time consuming method of depthing a tip up. But in the long run, it pays off. So what you're gonna do is just simply put your sonar unit down the hole. Another key thing to remember here is you always want your ice deucer to be even with the bottom of the ice, that way you can get the most accurate depth reading. I can see on my LX6 here, it's 15 feet. I want my bait to be a couple feet off the bottom, so I'm gonna want my bait to, my bait to be around 13 to 12 feet of water. Same principle as last time. Before you apply the bait, always apply the depth finder. Because if you put the bait on first and then depth it, using a sonar unit, you're not gonna be able to get an accurate reading because your bait's just gonna be swimming around. Now, unlike the other method, I actually put the whole tip up in the water, but I would drop the depth finder down, I would put the whole tip up in the water, wait for the spool to stop spinning, I can see my depth finder going all the way down, and once it's at about the right depth that I want it to be, so right about 13 feet, I can see my depth finder, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna pull my spool up out of the water, still keeping my hand on this spool, making sure it's not going anywhere, and then I would, I would grab the line where it, my line meets the spool where I want my desired depth and then I would apply my tip up marker and the only purpose of tip up markers is to really just a convenience thing you know you catch a fish you don't want to have to read depth so you just put a tip up marker on to keep your depth now you bring up your depth finder and at this point we don't need to mark them anymore Bring up the depth finder. Now we can grab our bait. We're using big suckers. Almost lost it down the hole. That would have been fun. Simply hook it through the back. Let it go down the hole. And then grab your hole covers. If you use hole covers, I recommend using them because they keep the hole nice and dark. It stays natural and it insulates the holes. Today it's like 33 degrees, 35 degrees. You don't need them, but I always like to use two hole covers anyways, just for added insulation. Simply put your tip up down the hole and you are ready to fish. Thank you very much for watching. Any questions or comments, please feel free. Thank you very much.